Hi everyone, this is going to be a quick video to show you this generator I made using a motor from a microwave. If I spin this, this AC light bulb should light up. And now I've turned off my video lights, let's try again. You can see it's actually pretty bright. Now this is a very, very simple device. Literally, it's just made of scrap and a motor from a microwave. This is the turntable motor, the one that makes your food spin inside the microwave and then connected to the motor acting as a handle. This is just a paintbrush, a wooden paintbrush. And I've got some nuts and bolts and then a lid here from a Coke bottle. So that makes it spin freely. And that's really all there is to it. You can see I've soldered on some wire and on the upper end of that is just a regular AC outlet and I plugged in this bulb. Now this is a 220 volt bulb, let me check the wattage. So hopefully you can see there, this is a 9 watt LED bulb, although we're not lighting it up to its full brightness, I'd say we're getting around 2 or 3 watts out of this. Now usually the microwave motors are rated at 110 volts or 220 volts, but strangely this one is rated at 21 volts, which is a little bit unusual, but it doesn't make any difference because these LED bulbs are just converting that AC voltage to DC and dropping it down to something more usable for the LEDs anyway. So 21 volts AC works, but it would work just as well if you had a 110 volt or 220 volt motor from a microwave. Now in all honesty this is not that practical because you have to sit there continuously turning. You can see as soon as I stop the light turns off. So it's not that practical as a generator but as an experiment or like an absolute emergency situation I guess it could have some use. Now what I would like to do is put another cog here, a larger one, so I can have something like a 5 to 1 ratio. So every time I turn the big cog, this smaller one turns 5 times, something like that. So you can spin much slower. It takes a little bit more effort, but you can spin much slower. And then I guess on the electronic side of things, I'd probably want a full wave bridge rectifier to convert it to DC, and then maybe add like a capacitor or a battery, something like that. So you can actually take a break from spinning. Anyway, this was just a quick video for fun. If you have any suggestions, put them in the comment section down below and if you enjoyed this video please give a thumbs up and subscribe thanks for watching